hello viewers you are welcome back to daybreak again reactions it's your boy pato and yes we have another reaction to do all right guys if you are joining me for the first time you are definitely welcome and i want you to be a part of the daybreak again family so go ahead and hit the subscribe button all right guys you know how we do it we're not wasting time there is a club back let's go and have fun with it all right guys so we have max cortez clapping back at king b and he calls this one nail in the coffin nail in the coffin that means this is the kill shot if you look at the graphics the artwork on the cover it tells you everything this is also similar to eminem's song that he called um kill shot you know the artworks are very very similar it has the sniper scope the rifle scope pointing at kim b meaning this is your kill shot this is the last nail going into the coffin and the beef will be over all right guys let's go and have a taste of nail in the coffin man i feel like i'm trying to kill a mosquito with a gun <laughs> man i feel like trying to kill a mosquito with a gun that is a mismatch <laughs> I feel like I'm trying to kill a mosquito with a gun. All right. Damn. Yeah. Uh. It's time to put this sun inside the test. Angel of death probably running by your neck. So this caterpillar. Max Cortez says angel of death is probably running around your neck. Can be because this is going to be deadly. Okay. To put this sun inside the test. Angel of death probably running by your neck. So this caterpillar wanna grow is the grass green on the other side. Is the butt He says so this caterpillar wants to grow. Is the grass green on the other side? Does he have the fans? Are the people supporting his career? Does people think he belongs into this game? On the other hand, he's saying Ken B wants to grow. So he's looking on the other side into the east trying to you know mobilize some fans over there too your neck so this caterpillar wanna grow is the grass green on the other side here's the butterfly effect yeah. watch your brain spill every thought of you ruling the block this feather he says watch your brain spill off for any thought you have of ruling the block Oof, that is deep man he says can be you you don't even fit into the game of hip-hop so anytime you are going to have the thought of ruling the black in the hip-hop game your brains are going to spill off because you are not mature for that kind of thought to even think that you want to rule the the western black of hip-hop it doesn't happen and then again let me take you back to when he said the butterfly effect the butterfly effect you remember he said you know the caterpillar wants to grow is is the grass green on the other side the butterfly effect what he means is that the butterfly effect is a theory it's a theory whereby it says that a small change in an initial condition can cause a significant results later on so he is saying that he is the change okay that will happen in king b's life whereby can b will use mescortez as a stepping stone to blow up so basically He's saying that Kim B is clout chasing with his name. Nice, nice lyrics right there. You have to think, man. You, he's giving you things to think about. This is not easy to break down. You have to think deep. Here's the butterfly effect. Yeah. Watch your brain spill every thought of you ruling the block. This feather way always fooling the flock. Yeah. Bitch, do you realize that you used every tool in your box? Which are All right, so he's saying that, B, have you realized that you have used every tool in your box and you are left with nothing? So he's basically saying that the two tracks that you did, the call out and the B Cortez, those were your tools. Those were the platforms that you could use to, you know, come at me. And right now you are done because your punches are done. Damn. 
He says, I am schooling you with hard knocks. You feel me? Because this is a street thing. Like Jay Z, I am schooling you with hard knocks. I mentioned Jay Z because, you know, Jay Z, you know, relate. Relate Jay Z to hard knocks. That is what I mean. Yeah. Every tool in your box, with your nursery rhymes, I'm schooling you with hard knocks. Okay. This the river you ain't ready to get across. The ones before you fell apart looking to get applause. Let's set it. Ah, ah, he's going deep on lyrics, man. He's going deep on lyrics, bro. So he's saying that, you know what? The river that you want to cross, let me tell you, the people before you, they couldn't get over that river. They were all displaced. They were, they, they, look, they were all dismantled. They all disappeared before they could even get across the river. So this is a warning shot to you can be that if you want to cross that river from the west side to the east side you know what you will not even get to the river banks damn 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 man you ready to get across the ones before you fell apart looking to get applause <laughs> let's set it off you just said you bleeding and you expect me to take you to menopause okay okay let's set this thing off you said that you were bleeding and you expect me to take you to menopause okay so relate menopause and bleeding you know what menopause is right when women stop having period okay so he's playing the words he's relating the two menopause it has to do with bleeding and then bleeding it has to do with bleeding too <laughs> set it off you just said you bleeding and you expect me to take you to menopause okay you more like a fruit cake a bouquet why are you trying to he says you are more like a fruit cake a bouquet you know a fruit cake is like a small bite everybody's going to use you for a snack people come and they just pick you up and eat and then you are like a bouquet a bouquet of flowers you know to take you to menopause you more like a fruit cake a bouquet why are you trying to battle with bruce wayne you lose faith every track <laughs> why are you trying to battle with bruce wayne you lose faith bruce wayne batman who fights with Batman and wins? Batman is always winning. If you watch the Batman movies, right? So he says, you know what? You 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 already lost faith trying to, you know, battle with Bruce Wayne. Because I am Bruce Wayne. Okay, Kabuke. Why are you trying to battle with Bruce Wayne? Wayne? You lose faith. Every track you keep getting noisy. Like loose change. Your only dream is... He says every track that you keep is noisy like loose change. Loose change are surplus of coins that you don't need, okay? <laughs> they make noise. So he says your tracks are noisy like um, loose chains. Those are surplus coins. And already, already, this dude, um, Jaru, okay? When Jaru was dissing 50 Cent, Eminem, Jay-Z, and I think Dr. Ray, um, Dr. Dre, yeah, that song title is also called Loose Change, okay? Yeah, just saying, okay? Yeah. Bruce Wayne, you lose faith. Every track you keep getting noisy, like loose change. Your only dream is to be able to walk in my shoes, mate. Probably got a pair of Cortez next to your toothpaste. I jump in the wall. <laughs> Mess Cortez is telling Kim B that, you know, the only goal is you trying to walk in my shoes because, you know, I am ahead of you. I am up there and you are right here. So you are cloud chasing. And then he says again that, you know, probably you, you have a pair of Cortez. You know, can be this Mets Cortez that his name is a Nike shoe. Okay, because there is a Nike shoe that is called Nike Cortez. So Mets Cortez says, but probably you also own a pair of Cortex. That is why you are trying to walk in my shoes. Okay, so Nike Cortez and trying to walk in my shoes. You see where he's placing the two. Lyrically, madness. Nice Cortez shoes and trying to walk in my shoes. I love that. I love that. To walk in my shoes, mate. Probably got a pair of Cortez next to your toothpaste. I jump in the water and make a killing out and use bait. Let me tighten up this loose case. This body gonna be heavily when I put your soul in a new space. I am rap so He says this body is going to be heavenly when I put you up in new space. 
you know space up 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 you know beyond skies we say it's heaven heavenly everything in space is heavenly right so he says you know he's going to put up Kim B's body into the heavens into the new space after he's done with him remember the title is called nail in the coffin Okay. This loose case, this body gon' be heavenly when I put your soul in a new space. I am rap Socrates. This grown man bars leave your mouth open hanging like apostrophes. Have you he says this grown up bars will leave your mouth open hanging like apostrophes. Guys, you know apostrophes. Apostrophes you hang them, right? You know, you put them, you know, you know how apostrophes work. Apostrophe S, right? But he says, I am Rap's Socrates. I am Hip Hop's Socrates. I am the philosopher. Socrates is the father of philosophy. You know, a lot of people believe that he is the father of philosophy. Mad lyrics, mad lyrics, man. This grown man bars leave your mouth open hanging like apostrophes. Have you looking like you lost your keys? Schooling this kid is too. <laughs> having you looking like you lost your keys when you lose your keys you know how you go about you know looking for it but losing your keys also is it's 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 sort of a proverb which means going mad okay you lost your keys you know <laughs> yeah. yeah okay yeah, so losing your keys also means, you know, going mad or something like that. So, you know, he says he will leave you as if you've lost your keys. When you are mad, what do you do? Everything you do is disorganized. You are moving around, you know, jumping from one place to the other. Man, this, this is, these are crazy lyrics, man. I have to give it to Max Cortez. These are crazy lyrics. Hanging like apostrophes Have you looking like you lost your keys Schooling this kid is too easy I don't need a fucking foster no. fee Jumping on bigger mm. rappers waves is what you do You looking for the You know he says schooling these kids Is easy Jumping on bigger rappers Is what you do So again he is hinting That you know Can be his clout chasing because Max Cortez thinks, you know, he is up there. He he is up there, way above can be. Oh my goodness. I don't need a fucking foster no. fee. Jumping on bigger rappers' waves is what you do. You looking for the needle behind bars, no voodoo. West side. You looking for the needles behind bars, no voodoo. You looking for the needles behind bars, no voodoo. All right. You know, because voodoo, when they do voodoo, they stick needle into, you know, this uh, whatever thing they have with voodoo going, man. So, <laughs> I don't know how he's playing with it, but, you know, it sounds funny like that. Rappers waves is what you do. You looking for the needle behind bars, no voodoo. West side reject seeking attention from the east. I leave you broke. Oh, he says you are a west side reject and you are seeking attention from the east. Damn. No behind bars, no voodoo West side rejects seeking, seeking attention, attention from, from the, the east. east I leave you broken like the Swahili You try to Google, Google. He says, I am leaving you broken like the Swahili you tried to Google So, in the call out, in Kin B's call out You know, he, he, he gave some lines in Swahili And then again in the B Cortex, he also gave some lines in Swahili. But Mes Cortex is calling him out on the way he articulated the Swahili. He says your Swahili is broken. You 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 are forcing it. So probably you know can be used Google translation to look up some words and put some phrases together. So the whole thing you know was broken Swahili. Seeking attention from the east, I leave you broken like the Swahili. You try to Google. Google. Do you see what your fans done? Hyping you up daily, comparing a fucking knife to a handgun. Oh, he says, do you see what your fans have done? You know, hyping you, hyping you to come to a battle, a gun fight with a knife. <laughs> you know, so he's basically saying that King B's fans are just gassing him without taking precautions. Oh, oh. 
You see what your fans done Hyping you up daily Comparing a fucking knife to a handgun Waiting for a mission is your plan son I ain't biblical but these punches land like Samson I'm a he says you are waiting for a mansion, son. I am not biblical, but these punches are landing like Samson. You know, in the Bible, Samson, you know, is depicted as the strongest man. I'm not biblical, but these punches, it's going to hit you like the strength of Samson. Damn! <laughs> oh, I like that. Mansion is your plan, son. I ain't biblical, but these punches land like Samson. Yeah. I'ma put this snake in a cobra clutch. Pull your ribs out and make you watch how your shoulders nah. touch. Raise you by one hand and ask how you holding up. The common problem with you and where. Guys, how many of you watch wrestling? The move he talked about is one of the deadliest moves in wrestling and, and martial arts, right? So he says, Snake, I am going to put you in the cobra clutch hang you by one hand okay so the move cobra clutch hang you by one hand when they do that the next move is to slam you the possibility of breaking your neck and your spine is high okay so that is called a cobra clutch slam he says this is what i'm going to do to you can be and watch you while you show this touch each other guys how is it possible for shoulders to touch each other that means brutal moves man and then i'll pull out your ribs guys just just imaginalize put the picture right there man it's like a, a mortal combat scene damn 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 this is brutal you holding up the common problem with you and wax spitters is that you ain't bold enough don't you fucking see that the game's mine he is saying that don't you see don't you effing see that the game is mine the common problem with you and wax spirits is that you are not bold enough can be one problem with you and wax spitters is that you ain't bold enough don't you fucking see that the game's mine i am what cancer would be if it had a stage nine this quick I am what cancer will be if cancer had a stage 9. Guys, let me remind you, cancer has no stage 9. You remember the, the actor who died recently, um, Chadwick Bosman, right? The Black Panther um, guy. He died of um, stage 4 cancer and there is no stage 9. So imagine what stage 9 cancer will be. Oh my goodness. These lyrics are deep, man. This is no joke. And this is not even about exaggerating. The guy is spitting too much, too much bars, man. Too much bars. See that the game's mm. mine. I am what cancer would be if it had a stage nine. nine. This queen wanna sit for the late shine. This is the type of bars that make you wanna vomit and shit at the same time. Wow. this queen wants to sit for the late night shine but this kind of bars i'm spitting is the one that will make you vomit and shit at the same time you know what disease causes that you know what disease attacks you and makes you vomit and then you shit at the same time google it and you will see it's very nasty what a place to fit i had to drop 20 flows below just to face the kid i hope this oh it says this case this new case wants to fit but i have to drop 20 20 bars below i have to drop 20 levels below so that i can get to their level and play with them because they are not ready for matured flows. To fit, I had to drop 20 flows below just to face the kid. I hope this track can help you age a bit. I mean, it's clear to everybody this rookie really ain't made for this. Be ain't for you. He says, look, man, this rookie, he is not made for this. This is not his type of game that he wants to come and start his career with. I mean it's clear to everybody this rookie really ain't made for this Beef ain't for you, go buy clean vegetables Your fans wanna press charges, I'm highly electrical He says your fans are pressing charges but I am highly electrical Your fans are trying to press charges against me They are trying to come at me, attack me But I am highly electrical Electrical voltage which is so high, what, what does it do to you? 
It will kill you when you try to touch it. Damn. And then he says beef ain't for you. Can be you are not meant for beefs. So go and buy clean vegetables. Can't you beef? Be a vegetarian. Eat eat vegetables because beef is not for you. Oh, 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 oh. You go Damn. buy clean vegetables. Your fans wanna press charges. I'm highly electrical. electrical. The vets know me. I'm used to putting dogs like you to sleep, like a Chinese festival. Oh. Oh. He says the vets know me. I'm used to putting dogs like you to sleep, like Chinese festival. Vets, the vets know me. The the veterinary officers they know me because what I used to put dogs like you to sleep. There is a Chinese festival called Leeches and Dog Festival. What the festival attenders what they do is they eat dog dog meat. So basically. The, the period through which the, the, the festival lasts, it's about it's thousands of dogs that are consumed. This guy is coming too too hard with lyrics that, you know, hey, I, I don't know what to say, man. I don't know. Like a Chinese festival. My Swahili fluent, rappers in vocal panic. I really doubt if you know your own home language. When I spit, nobody eats. I'm a Komodo dragon. No when I spit, nobody eats because I am a Komodo dragon. A Komodo dragon. They are like um, alligators. They are like crocodiles, right? They have the long, um, the long tank. It comes out like that. All right, and that is how they kill. Their saliva has so much of um, bacterials, and when they spit, they spit on the uh, whatever they want to kill. It can actually cause um, blood poisoning, but their bite and their venom is so deadly. Know your own home language. When I spit, nobody eats. I'm a Komodo dragon. Okay. No punchline, so you trying to hold your atlas. I no punchline, so you are trying to hold your ad lips. Ad lip, ad lib in music. It's a short form of what is called um ad libitum ad libitum okay ad libitum it's 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 a way of creating things on the spot you don't you don't organize for it you don't prepare for it a better word is to improvise so he says skin b's punches are ad libs he improvise he he just make them on the spot they are not well thought of he doesn't put pen to paper Eat, I'm a Komodo dragon, no punchline, so you trying to Try hold to your to atlas Alex. I am more African than you will ever be I support all my brothers in the streets from one meal He says I am more African than you would ever be I support my brothers on the street you Remember King B told uh, Mes Cortez that you know what You are not even um, a full African You are not fully African you are from India, so go back to India. Mes Cortez is stating, and I am African more than you could ever be. Okay. More African than you will ever be. I support all my brothers in the streets from one meal life to everybody with nothing left to eat. My African. He says, I, I support everybody on the street, you know, from people who have one meal a life to those who have nothing at all. I support everybody. That is what Ms. Cortez is letting us know. Others in the streets from one meal life to everybody with nothing left to eat. My African roots make me the last of a dying breed. Yes. So the hmm. He says my African roots makes me the last of a dying breed. When your roots are intact, that means you have a solid foundation. So let's take for instance a tree, right? When the dry season comes and the trees are dying off, those with intact roots those who roots are strong they are able to stand for the rainy season to come and when the rainy season comes they grow back into life that is why he is saying that my african roots make me the last of a dying breed that means he is still standing strong no matter what you think about his african roots damn my African roots make me the last That's of a dying breed. Yes. So the only thing Indian about me is that I'm an ocean. I'm not a gatekeeper. I'm a devotion. This is what happens when you mix business and emotions. I'm doing this. <laughs> no. 
He says, the only Indian thing about me is a notion. I am a devotion. This is what happens when you mix business and emotions. Okay. Gatekeeper, I'm a devotion. This is what happens when you mix business and emotions. I'm doing this so the next generation can take precautions. Don't fuck with this Tanzanian again. No more. He says, I am doing this so the next generation will take precaution. So he is leaving a record behind for the next generation to use this as an advice. Generation can take precautions. Don't fuck with this Tanzanian again. No more free clap with the pen. Stan, I'm sorry if I don't read the letters you sent. That you can go drive over a bridge and watch your life descend. Man, that's a lot to break down. He says, you know what? Don't F with this Tanzanian, okay? And this is the last time I'm giving your clout a pen. This is the last time I, I am even responding to you because you are now my level. And he says, Stan, I am sorry for not reading your letters. You can drive. You can go drive over a bridge and watch your life descend. Do you guys know what he's talking about when he says Stan and driving over a bridge? Okay, that is Eminem. Eminem right there. Okay, so Eminem produced one of the iconic tracks in hip hop called Stan. Guys, I want you to go watch that video, Eminem, Stan, okay? Man, I don't even know what the fuck is wrong with you. I never mess with the top tier. Do your research before you do this shit. Ah. You have a long way to go, son. I did he says, I don't know what is wrong with you, can be, but do your research before you come beefing. Hey, no long talk subscribe and enjoy more videos from pato i will see you in the next reaction i am out